It takes a special kind of crazy to be a cross-country athlete. You have to be able to put yourself through long stretches of physical and mental stress and somehow do it more quickly than those around you. But for Bryce Schott, the trials of being a distance runner are worth it. I think it's all about the competing, the love for competing, um, being able to go out uh, every day in practice, get to see improvement, uh, and yeah, just love for competing and getting faster. Then there's the team aspect of the sport, which according to ORU cross country coach Justin Herbert involves more than you might think. Uh, cross country is really a team sport. People think that it's an individual sport because you're just running. Um, but really, it takes five to score, and so, you know, your top five finishers score, golf scoring, uh, so first place is one point, second place is two points, and the lowest score wins, so it really is a team sport. Like many sports, cross country is about overcoming a challenge, and Shote knows as much about that as anyone. It was about five months ago, middle of track season, um, started just having trouble, it started out just trouble swallowing, didn't know what the heck was going on. I uh, went to see some doctors on a mass in my chest. Uh, we had to have chest surgery halfway through the summer. I mean, the main thing is just the perspective. You have a different perspective when you go through things like that. I know one quote that I look up to is, uh, the things that you take for granted, other people are praying for. And I mean, that's one thing that I go through every day that I have to remember, man, it's a blessing just to be here. So it helps me uh, in practice, it helps me in races. I mean, that mentality just helps me every day. Thanks so much to Bryce and Justin for coming out and spending some time with us today in the middle of a busy cross-country season. They've been racing already. they got a meet coming up in Arkansas here uh, shortly. So a lot of fun hanging out with these guys today and getting to learn a little bit more about what it is they do. And, of course, stay tuned for more Soar with the Golden Eagles videos.